The Canon R50 is quickly becoming one of the best selling cameras in the world. It's not because of a high res sensor or crazy frame rates, I mean it has those things, but the real secret is in the design philosophy and the smart features in this camera, which might make it one of the best budget and beginner friendly cameras out there. So let's find out if it's really worth the hype. But you have to make sure that the features in this camera are right for you because it might not make sense for specific kinds of photographers and video shooters. So let's do a deep dive and figure out who the Canon R50 is really for. And if you want the best pricing on your Canon R50, make sure to check out the links in the description down below for the best possible pricing. So the Canon R50 was made with one very specific goal in mind. Make it as easy as possible to get great results, especially for people who are new to cameras or simply don't want the hassle of figuring out their camera. Because a lot of people simply want to take photos and videos, share their life, or you might be an artist, an entrepreneur who simply wants to use photo and video as a way to communicate with an audience. But that doesn't mean you still can't use the Canon R50 as an artist because this camera still has insane specs considering the price point. And that's why the Canon R50 might just be the perfect camera for a lot of people. Inside this camera, you have a 24 megapixel APS-C size sensor, which is going to give you high quality photos and videos. But what makes the Canon R50 special is how it processes the photos and videos. First of all, you have the gorgeous Canon colors, which Canon cameras are really known for. Everything is very true to life and beautiful with just a hint of warmth in your colors. And without any need to edit your colors, everything just looks perfect right out of camera, especially when it comes to faces and people. Your skin tone looks really healthy and vibrant, and that in itself makes people look really attractive. And the autofocus is absolutely 10 out of 10. You can simply tap the screen on the back to automatically get focus on anything you tap. And on top of that, it also has subject detect specifically for animals, cars, and other things. So you can tell the camera exactly what you want it to focus on and it will ignore everything else. And the Canon R50 is fast. It can shoot anywhere between 12 to 15 frames per second in photo mode making this a great camera for capturing movement or action. And by having such a high frame rate for photos, it makes it really easy to capture the right shot, especially if you're new to cameras, which means you'll never miss your shot. However, one thing to note in photo mode, it can take up to 17 JPEGs before it needs a break and only seven photos in raw mode. For someone who's mainly shooting in raw, this is probably not going to cut it. But if you're a casual photographer who's only shooting in JPEG, this camera should be just fine. But what makes the Canon R50 design philosophy so special is that it has a ton of smart features that make this camera as easy as just pointing and shooting. And all of that really comes down to the automatic modes that Canon has included, and it actually has three smart automatic modes. And I know what you're thinking, automatic modes usually look terrible, but in this one case, I'm going to surprise you. The main mode that most of you guys will wanna check out is called Creative Assist. You can simply pick a color preset to give your photos a cool look to them, and then go in and choose things like background blur, brightness, contrast, saturation, and color tone. You simply have to tell the camera what kind of photo you want, what look and feel you want, and it will automatically adjust all of the settings accordingly for you. This way, you don't have to spend any time messing around with technical settings. And the second automatic mode actually really surprised me. It's known as creative bracketing, and I've never seen this in a camera before. You simply take one photo, and the camera will give you several versions of the same image with different color filters, brightness level, contrast levels. It will actually give you three edits for your photo automatically in camera without you having to do anything. And of course, it has the tried and true automatic plus mode, which is slightly different on this camera than any other camera I've seen before. In this camera, it actually treats automatic plus mode similar to a smartphone, where instead of taking one photos, it actually takes several photos at once, combines them all into one singular photo and improves your dynamic range, your clarity, your colors, whatever you want. And with these three automatic modes, this honestly becomes the perfect point and shoot in compact camera out there today. Although some of you guys might not consider this compact. And when it comes to video, it does have automatic modes that help you shoot better, but they are very, very different. In video mode, the Canon R6 shoots 4K video at 24 and 30 frames per second for real-time shooting, but it also has digital stabilization to give you smooth handheld footage so you can shoot this camera handheld without any worries. However, the 4K in the R50 isn't just regular 4K, it's actually 4K downsampled from the 24 megapixel 6K image area, which practically gives you 
4K with the detail and clarity of a 6K image. So the 4K in this is going to look way better than most cameras. And this will elevate your video quality quite a bit, but it also gives you the ability to zoom in without any loss of detail even for a 4K image, you can zoom this in as much as you would with the 6K image. And the R50 also shoots slow motion at 60 frames per second all the way to 120 frames per second in full HD. However, in 120 frames per second, you don't have any audio and you have to switch over to a specific slow motion mode. But best of all, the Canon R50 also has 10 bit color, which is currently the gold standard in terms of acquiring color information. But in order to use 10-bit color, you have to shoot the Canon R50 in HDR mode, which gives you more dynamic range on top of that, but also 10-bit color. This way, you get a nice flat image that gives you a ton of flexibility when it comes to adjusting your dynamic range, your shadows, highlights, and you still get the flexibility of 10-bit color. When it comes to automatic modes in video mode, it's actually pretty standard. The camera can auto expose and track focus all by itself, so you literally just have to hold the camera up and record whatever you want, but it's nothing spectacular and it's something that most cameras do. However, one new feature in the Canon R50 that I've only ever seen in Sony cameras is product showcase mode. In this mode, you can simply hold products up to the camera and the autofocus will immediately snap to the product. And when you put the product down, it will go right back to your face because it knows exactly what you're doing. This is really helpful if you're someone like me that does product reviews on the internet. However, one thing that I haven't talked about yet is the design of the Canon R50 because the way Canon designed this camera, it's an extremely user-friendly and beginner-friendly camera. The design of this camera is small and light. You get a very, very small camera, especially when you compare it to a proper camera like the Canon R6 Mark II, this camera is so small. But just like every other Canon camera, the button layout and menu layout is super simple and easy to navigate. You really don't need to watch any tutorials on this. You can simply pick up this camera and figure it out. The Canon R50 also has a flip screen to the side that is also touch enabled. You can use this to simply tap something on your screen and the autofocus will automatically snap to it, but you can also use the back screen to navigate all of your menus and all of your major settings just using your fingers. Using the Canon R50 is actually pretty similar to a smartphone. If you can figure out a smartphone, I promise you can figure out this camera. And the kit lens the Canon R50 comes with is not the greatest lens in the world, but it's actually perfect for beginners. It gives you a really robust lens, solidly made, nice zoom range of 18 to 45 millimeters with a variable aperture. By having an 18 to 45 millimeter lens, you're going to get both a wide shot, so you can shoot landscapes, group photos, but you're also going to get a close-up shot for portraits and close-up detail shots. Again, the lens is not amazing quality and it's not very good in low light, but it's a really good lens to start off with if you're a beginner or just a casual shooter. However, one thing that I do recommend is checking out the Canon STM Primes. These lenses have a much wider aperture, they're much sharper, and they're only a few hundred dollars. So if you ever want to get serious with your Canon R50, those are the must-have lenses. I actually use a Canon STM 50mm on my camera, and this thing is tack sharp. It is absolutely my favorite lens, and it was only $200. And one feature that every casual and beginner photographer is going to love is that you can actually wirelessly connect your Canon R50 to your smartphone. So you never really have to go to your laptop to drop off your photos and videos. You can simply take them from your camera to your smartphone and edit them on your smartphone inside the Canon app. And of course, once they're on your phone, it's very little hassle to simply post them on social media or share them with friends. But for 99.9% .9 of casual users and beginner photographers, this camera is the best camera you can get today. With 24 megapixels, 4K that's downsampled from 6K video, on top of that you have 10-bit colors, plus you have the amazing Canon colors in this camera already. This is the best camera you can get today for your type of shooting. So make sure to check out the Canon R50, and if you want the best pricing on your Canon R50, make sure to check out the links in the description down below for the best possible pricing, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.